Today I'm going to show you how you can easily load and analyze historical weather data for any location worldwide in MicroStrategy's business intelligence platform. I'll start by going to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, simply sign up for a free trial by clicking on the orange button on the right side of the page. Your free trial account will give you instant access to historical weather data for any location. I'll select the option to manually enter the location for which I want to analyze historical weather data. However, I could instead load a sheet of addresses or paste in a list as plain text. Instead of manually typing an address, I'll let the system automatically enter my current location by clicking on the Populate from Your Location link below the entry field. I'll also give this location a friendly name to make it easy to identify this location in the output data. Next, I need to tell Visual Crossing Weather what type of weather query I want to run. Since I want to analyze weather reports from the past, I'll choose the Historical Data option. Note that in this panel I could choose other options such as a forecast query, historical summary reports, or hourly data. These and many other options are covered by our other videos and tutorials. Selecting an Historical Data Query will open up the Options panel that allows me to define the parameters of the query. The main option that I need to set is the date range. I'll choose January 1, 2019 as the starting point and December 31, 2019 as the end. There are other options here that I could use to adjust the results, but for this example, I'll accept the defaults and simply run the query. Initially, I'll be shown the weather calendar view. I can also change the grid view to see the data in more detail or download the data as a CSV file by clicking the download button at the bottom of the page. However, instead, I'll change to the API view and copy the query URL. I can now use this URL to load the weather query results directly into MicroStrategy as a cube for further analysis. To demonstrate how to do just that, I'll switch to the MicroStrategy web interface. I'll first select the Add External Data option from the Create menu. This is the option used to load a cube of external data into our MicroStrategy analysis. And then I'll press the option to load data from a URL. MicroStrategy web will prompt me for the URL, and I can simply paste in the Visual Crossing Weather Query URL and click Finish to submit the query. MicroStrategy will now load the historical weather data into a cube based on the query that I defined a moment ago. MicroStrategy will then prompt me to save this new data cube, so I'll save it into my weather folder and then tell MicroStrategy to create a new dossier for me to analyze this data. To wrap up this demonstration, I'll set up a simple temperature graph to show how easily the weather data is available in the dossier. Before I use the data, however, I need to tell MicroStrategy how to aggregate the temperature metrics. Since averages are best for showing temperatures in this way, I'll change both the maximum and minimum historical temperatures to aggregate based on averages. I'll now build a grid in the usual way. I'll drag the date field and location name into the rows and put the maximum and minimum temperatures into the metrics. Finally, I'll change the visualization to a line graph and we can see the maximum and minimum temperatures that occurred across the entire query period. In this case, the calendar year 2019. When I scroll the graph to the right, you will see that the temperature pattern follows the annual trend that one would expect to see here in Virginia. Of course, we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of how historical weather data can be used in MicroStrategy. Once you have the data loaded, you can begin to correlate weather with your existing business data and apply further analysis to gain new and valuable insights. If you would like to learn more about using Visual Crossing weather options such as a 15-day weather forecast, loading multiple locations, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos. Thank you for watching.